Depression is a very common problem in, in the community as a whole and we know now that it often starts in adolescence and there's a very dramatic increase in the rates of depression between the ages of 15 and 18. This is a very important time in young people's development and so depression can have a major impact on their ability to do schoolwork, when they're establishing social networks um, and it's also linked to a number of risky behaviours like use of alcohol and drugs, teen pregnancy and self-harm. Well we've been thinking about the digital natives generation, so young people who practically grew up with computers in their home and in the sort of everyday environment and if you see young people interacting with, with computers with games you kind of see them becoming very engaged and spending a lot of time and having a lot of fun. Sparks is a 3D animated fantasy based game. It has seven modules and each module is linked to a different land. And overall the aim of the avatar in the game is to save the world from gnats which are gloomy negative automatic thoughts. Each one of those modules is linked to cognitive behavioural therapy. Through the storyline we try to demonstrate the principles of cognitive behavioural therapy and at the end of each module a guide tells young people how they might put this into practice in the real world. We're very fortunate at the University of Auckland to have quite a network of people who we can involve. We actually had computer games developers very much as part of our team and we've been sitting around the table and brainstorming how we're going to take cognitive behavioural therapy from a face-to-face -face therapy interaction and turn it into a fantasy-based game. We're hoping that by having developed this game, we will have something that we can make widely available to young people, that they will want to do it, that they will have fun while they're doing it, and that it will help them overcome depression.